Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta, and I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado, and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I want to talk about street photography and what is it, and what isn't it. You know, street photography has been given a lot of scrutiny as far as what qualifies. Hey, if you're on the beach, is it, any, is it a street? Sure. Hey, if you're in a store, is it street? Sure. Street photography means documenting life, wherever it takes you. It doesn't mean it has to be in the physical street. It doesn't mean it has to be black and white with crushed blacks and people jumping over puddles only. Come on, street photography is whatever you want it to be as far as where you are documenting life. Can it be in a store? Can it be inside of a, a shop with somebody doing something? Sure. What you're doing is you're documenting everyday life and looking for storytelling moments. You're literally going out into the street. The fact that you entered a building doesn't change the fact that you're in some environment that's not your own. It can be the beach, certainly. It can be a, a, a house. It can be anywhere. The point of street photography isn't to limit it to, well, people standing on the street. It's about creating documentary moments of people living life and showing joy or showing pain or showing something that tells some kind of a story. And it doesn't have to be black and white. Like it seems like there's a lot of talk lately on Petapixel that, you know, photography should be, uh, street photography should be black and white. Black and white is where street photography excels. And if you look at my coloradofaces.com site, I have a whole lot of color street photography. And that doesn't mean that I don't make some into black and white. And that doesn't mean I don't like black and white. And I certainly shoot lots of black and white film. But the point is, there are none of these rules. These rules don't exist. These rules are made up by people who are trying to create some kind of a, a look into the past and trying to be Brisson or trying to be Elliot Erwitt back in 1940, but we're not there now. And the truth is those guys would have been using color film if it was available then and if it was easy and it was accessible and it was something that they could print. And we sometimes get bogged down by too many uh, thoughts of what it is and what should we do and can you shoot it with a long lens sure you can does it have the same feeling as shooting with a 35 no but that doesn't mean you can't do it there are no rules the only rules are create storytelling moments if you wanted to be a street photographer only shooting with a 300 millimeter lens show me some stories I'll watch if you want to be somebody who only shoots with a 21 millimeter lens I want the story I don't really need to care all the time about what you made it with. Nobody asked Hemingway what typewriter he used. They just want to see the final product. And if your final product is that good, with that 21, that 35, that 300, that's what matters. And this definition of street photography is created by the work that connects to people, the work that you know we get inspired by because God, I wish I had taken that photograph. That's such a wonderful photograph. Now, you took it with a 300, I don't throw it away. I just loved it and I still love it. And that's the point of my talk on street photography is documenting life. And it can be in your own backyard and your own kids. The point is, if it's something that is you documenting real life, street photography is documentary what happens if you're walking with your kids and they're on the street does that not count because they're your kids do they, do they have to be strangers there's no rules the only rule is tell me a good story give me something that i can look at and it's not a guy standing on the street corner with his phone with crushed blocks and a shaft of light that's not enough for me i want a story and it doesn't have to be literally on the street only but it can be certainly that's my definition of street photography. What's yours? Put that in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And uh, if you're enjoying these talks, hit the subscribe button and I'll bring you some more. Thanks so much for watching.